Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the Hammer Scorpion Strike. So a new piece into the Scorpion line. Um, pretty excited to see what it will do just because I don't really have a low end pearl right now other than my Tundra Blue Fire. And my Tundra Blue Fire here that I'm going to be throwing in this comparison video, it's, it's a very low diff ball so it's very very smooth. Um, I'm expecting the Scorpion Strike to actually come off the spot a lot harder uh, as, as advertised. So. Um, trying to get that piece to really get left, throw it right. It's kind of my favorite kind of lines on, on, on shots like these and just be left of everybody and just kind of get the ball hooking. So very excited to see what it'll do. Um, also, I'm going to get, I got one of Carmen's balls here, the Kaboom from Columbia. So I'm going to compare that as well. So it's going to be a good comparison between the three balls. Um, and then the last Scorpion I, I drilled and threw, obviously the Scorpion low flare. And that was a really, really good benchmark ball. Um, I don't have that anymore. I did retire it, so I don't I don't have that to compare, but I'm assuming this is going to be shaping up very similar in, in terms of the mid lane, but it's just how hard it is coming off that spot because, of course, that, that, that pearl cover stock, right? All right, let's line up. Let's see what this ball does. a lot of power to pins so I thought I got it left which made me feel like it wasn't gonna hook but it stayed in line uh, actually started hooking and it just decided to blow it pin so that being said it does retain a lot of energy for sure um, let me throw one more on target more to the right I do want to play a little bit bigger angles with this thing so let's get a little steeper with it I am expecting this to recover Okay, got it right. Sharper angle, nine pin. Not happy with the leave, but definitely happy with the shape. So, uh, it gives me confidence to keep shifting left. Probably getting the, the heads a little burning up, I guess, on this house shot. So, got to shift a little left. I don't think I even need to create a little bit of rotation. I think the ball naturally gets down lane and wants to recover. All right, let's try to chase it left. So, three and one from that last shot. See what happens. So much better. So very, very sharp off the spot. Um, definitely what I expected to see. Very happy to see it because sometimes when, when you get such a shiny ball personally, like I'm worried it doesn't doesn't really start up. So this being out of box, perfect, because sometimes the pearl ball is out of box now. I do tend to play around with the cover a little bit, maybe maybe knock the shine a little bit off, but it's doing exactly what I wanted to see right now as a pearl. Keep shifting left and let's see, like I said, I didn't even have to change my hand position chasing left with this one, which is beautiful just because it gets down lane naturally and just really has that angle coming back in. Okay, got a little left now that week 10, so I guess there's a couple options. Change that speed a little bit, maybe drop it. Um, you know, I get the lay down a little sooner or move a little right, but you know what? Let's move a little left and slow it down. So yeah, moved another two left. I actually slowed my ball speed down a hair, um, like half a kilometer or so. So that's that's good because I, I get left, get the ball to cover more boards, drop the speed down so it does pick up a little sooner. 
like you saw the the angles are still there so really really good doing pretty much exactly as it's designed um i think it's going to be a great you know second or third game ball even a fourth game ball if you're in a four game league and it's one of those balls that just allows you when the when the heads are really burning up and you got to get left and you know any any ball you use no matter how strong or pearl or anything like that it's, it's going to try to burn up so this medium-ish pearl gets left creates the angle does its thing it's just pretty happy and confident throwing this one very nice all right let's start with you know what let's start with the kaboom just because i think this is going to be a lot more similar that medium pearl as well i'm going to stand exactly where i just did probably expecting it to do the same thing but let's see what it does Okay, so first shot, obviously I didn't even get to throw the kaboom yet, but I think I got a little right of target, so that's my bad, but reading the ball the way it is right now, seems a lot smoother, the kaboom. So it's not really trying to recover right to left as much. Let me just actually throw one on target to get a better read, but I think overall the kaboom is a smoother shape than a strike. You just throw one better without moving. Don't feed it as far right. So you see, it's even got it left, it's a lot tighter. Um, the ball doesn't really want to go right to left really, really hard. So I think overall this boom is a lot more of a smoother shape compared to the Scorpion Strike. Uh, off of that, I'm probably gonna move at least another three to the right, get the ball a little bit further to the right, and maybe get the ball into the pressure a little earlier to kind of get it to create that shape back or just straighter in the front. But overall, I definitely need to move right. <laughs> that wasn't a promising strike or anything like that so let me make the move go on there yeah so you can see the ball actually tries to rev up a lot sooner the ball itself just wants to be a lot smoother um could be a little bit on the layout it's not the exact same layout as my scorpion strike so i think the ball is just kind of like a pin down lower flare layout so it's not really trying to go right to left a, a, a lot that hard so, I mean, that's what I'm seeing between the two right now. So I'm gonna throw the, the blue fire, which I'm a little bit more familiar myself. I was almost expecting the blue fire to hook or shape the way that Kaboom did. So let me compare this one to the Scorpion. All right, Let's compare this one to the Strike. I'm expecting this one to be a lot smoother anyway. Lower diff ball, this is clean in the front. Oh yeah, hit that hang spot out there. So a bit of carry down on this pair. I know there's been open bowling, so didn't want to really corner as soon as you hit that hang spot out there. So let me tighten up the angles a little, uh, just to get the ball to travel a, little, a lot less forward. Because like I said, I assume this ball to be a lot smoother. All right, let's get a little bit more square in the front part of the lane because there's a little bit of carry down on this pair from open bowling. Maybe that's why it's not really hooking off the back on this ball. Yeah, so you see the ball actually overall is just a lot smoother, a lot weaker of a ball with a Tundra Blue Fire compared to Scorpion. So line's totally different in terms of how, how square I am with that. Layout plays a little bit of difference as well. Um, but overall, I think that scorpion is just more of a move left, throw right, get it into the friction. It'll always come back with a sharper angle. Throw one last good one on the scorpion just so you have an idea again. I 
Thanks for watching, guys.